watching another quick tip video from Go Engineer. My name is Bruce Schaller and this video is on Geomagic for SolidWorks basics. Getting started with Geomagic for SolidWorks. Geomagic for SolidWorks is a software add-on that allows you to bring in very large STL or other imported type of geometry models into SolidWorks and work with them very efficiently. Once you've downloaded and installed Geomagic for SolidWorks, make sure it's checked as an add-in and then Geomagic for SolidWorks works in the part mode. So if you go in and begin a new part from scratch, just like you normally would, Geomagic for SolidWorks will load in and you should have this extra command manager menu, Geomagic for SolidWorks with an import button. Before importing, I would check the units that you're in to make sure that you're in the units that you believe the files in that you're importing in. When you hit the import button, and you bring in geometry, you can double check to see what the units are on the geometry that's coming in and change it if you desire. I've got a 32 megabyte bottom jaw and a 57 megabyte skull that's both in high definition. I'd leave the sample ratio on 100% for anything medical like this and you can go ahead and open it up. Opening the 32 megabyte file, this is real time, I didn't fast forward the video, you can see it opens this 32 megabyte file almost instantly. From there, I can go in and open the top of the skull, and since this came out of Mimic's high definition software, it's really keeping the origins medically verified at being the same point. You can see that's why it's just the person with the jaw shut from an x-ray file. So from here there's things that I want to do with these files. I want to start working with it. If I was building a reconstructive piece that goes around this part of the jaw, I'd probably only want to work with this part of the jaw. So in order to do that, I might want to go in and suppress the top of the skull because I might need to see it for something that I'm designing to it later on. And from here, if I want to go ahead and start working with this, usually we want some planes. I want a symmetric plane right down the middle. That's another key feature Geomagic for SolidWorks does. I can tell that I want a symmetry plane and I can have it in the sketch mode over here and I can just go sketch it and eyeball where I think it's going to be. And what the software will do is go ahead and figure out where the center of that is and give me that center plane. So it's mathematically figuring out where the center of that STL lower jaw is and giving me a plane to work with. So from here, if I don't need to work with that plane, I can suppress it or hide it. And if I want to start working with this jaw geometry and start cutting it up, I probably want to come over and duplicate the original so I can always have the original to go back to. That's how quick it duplicates that 32 meg file on top of each other. From here I'll go ahead and suppress the original that I might want to bring back at some point in time and now I'll start working with this geometry. This is the little magic button to editing imported geometry with Geomagic for SolidWorks. You have to right click on the STL geometry and here's the magic button edit feature. Clicking the edit feature button will allow you to go into the edit tools in Geomagic for SolidWorks. The edit tools let you fence select, lasso select, or paintbrush select geometry out here. I'm going to window select and I'm going to put it on the select through. I usually like selecting everything that I put through a window. So I'm going to window this part of the jaw that I want to keep. And when I do that, I really want to delete everything else that I didn't select. So if you right click, there is an invert selection inside of Geomagic for SolidWorks. And then I can go in and right click or hit the delete key and delete what I don't want. From there you can see the high definition fidelity that came in through the STL model even shows where the nerve path is inside the middle of this mandible bone. So from here I might, might want to do one or two more things. I could leave this open or I might want to go in and fill the hole. When I fill the hole, I have some options to do curvature fill, tangent fill, flat fill. If you click the fill hole button, it goes ahead and fills the hole. So now I have my STL model ready for me to go ahead 
and start working on only what I need and leaving everything else off. If I ever want to turn something back on to see how a part might be meshing with it, I can unsuppress that and there's my original part right in there. So there's just some of the basics with Geomagic for SolidWorks and getting started. Thanks for watching another quick tip video from Go Engineer. Mm -hmm.